Hey, my BK riders. What are you guys doing on this rainy, dreary day? I'm just going through some of the meals that I created with seafood. And uh, I guess I can honestly say maybe this one is my favorite, but it's in the top 30. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys some seafood pictures. And you guys tell me which one do you like and how would you like it to pre be prepared. All right. I'm showing you guys these pictures and these dates. So I'm not going to show the rest of the dates. So you know that I'm not new to this. This is the only email for this phone at this time. And I've been doing seafood for mm, maybe 30 years. <laughs> maybe a little bit more than 30 years. Eh, 35 years. My mom started me out. We started going to a place called Seafood Island. Me and my sister. So we've been hooked on seafood very, very young. Lobster tails. Lobster crab claws. Crabs with lobster claws, not claws. See how big them claws are? Them claws are humongous. And this has some squid in it. With lobster, I took the shells off the lobster and some mussels and shrimp. I'm not gonna tell you guys all the stuff that's in there, but anything I see in any of the pages, pictures, I explain what it is. Oh man, this is a whole lobster. Look at that, smothered with garlic. Oh. Look. Whole lobster. Some barbecue food. Look at this. More lobster and muzzles. I see. I buy them like this. Because it's easier, but these are way bigger at Costco's. You see that? And that's date 2014, okay? And we're in 2019. Look at those. See how big the pan is? They're almost bigger than the pan. I had to turn them sideways. Mm, my mouth is watering. <laughs> And this is how I made them. This is a plate to go for one of my friends coming by to pick up something to eat. Look at that lobster, shrimp. Crab legs. More crab legs, more crab legs, crab legs, more crab legs, hot dog. <laughs> now these is how they have them sometimes in Walmart. I tried this once or twice and it was okay, but it's how you hook them up. It makes them taste really good. Now see, that's that stuff called garlic scampi finishing butter. It came with the lobsters, and um, it was pretty good, but I made it better. And the side order of salad always works. Is another one of my favorites. Shrimp scampi. Shrimp cut lobster tails. This was good too. This was like a shrimp pasta and I made it with some hush puppies and some um onion rings. 
It was good. I think there you go. Okay, here we got some baked salmon, some scallops, some shrimps. Here, here's a clearer picture of that. And this is how some people buy their king crab legs. But I'm going to show you the way I like to buy them. I think it costs way more money buying them this way than the way I buy them. So, this was a recipe that I saw on, I don't know what social media site I saw it on, one of the cook networks. And I thought I can make it like this because I wanted to taste how it actually tastes. And mine came out like this. All I had to do was stand them up. But I felt it was better to eat them laying downward instead of standing upwards. But hey, they just tasted good. And some more lobster tails. And this is how they look when they got finished. Mm. And I made some fried shrimp on the side. Now this is, uh, I buy the case of snow crab legs. You buy them in a case. Sometimes you catch them on sale for like about 50 bucks. If you catch them on sale, you pay a little less. But if you don't, you're paying like $65 for a box. I was watching the funniest video today. How they grow these um, crawfish. I was trying to keep cutting the tape because of the thunder and lightning, but you know what? It's relaxing sound. We have we getting it we getting it big time out here right now. So as I was saying about the crawfish, I was watching the channel today how they actually grow the crawfish, and honestly, people don't understand. Crawfish is just baby lobsters. That's what they are. They're baby lobsters. And if you grow them long enough, and then once they get a certain size, you put them out into the ocean, they grow to the size of the lobsters that we get today. Okay, so here. Now, this is how I like to buy my king crab legs. I buy them in the whole case. It's so much easier. And you take out what you want, cook what you want, and put the rest in the freezer. So look, these are the king crab. This box here was 144. Okay, they cost way more than that now. But that's how much they cost in 2015. So I guess all these mud bombs made them things go up. The prices went up. And more lobster tails. And just me cooking it all together in one big pot. This pot is really, really huge. Mmm, some more shrimp scampi. Now, these lobster tails I made for a party. For one son was graduating out of high school and the other son's birthday. So, we had a big old family party out here. These lobster tails are huge. You can see how thick, how much meat that they got. They're so big. And I made them a whole bunch of crabs. So we had like a seafood kind of thing going on. Look at this. Now this is just some Cajun shrimp with guacamole. Homemade guacamole is the best guacamole. Please believe me. This was really good. So now I fast forward to 2019. <clears throat> There's so many pictures. And here's Carl the Crab. The, 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 no, not Carl the Crab. This is Carl the Lobster. <laughs> this is good. This is a nice mixture. Those are um, oysters, fried oysters. On my trip to the fish market in Dallas. This is salmon with a nice sauce mixture. 
steak, shrimp, crab legs. Mm. And this is how it turned out. Hear that thunder? Oh my goodness. Uh, I gotta move around. Then I added corn and I started adding, look at this, some sausages, potatoes, some scallops. Mm. That is a giant roasting pan. Those are the those big turkey size, big turkey size pans. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does take me a long time to eat that one plate, but everybody plate looked it way more packed than that. And that's some squid at the top. And shrimp. Look how big them crab legs are. Yummy. Now this is a, a baked scallop and shrimp. Along with some fish. Mm -mm. This is just a quick fix dinner. Fried. Now, let me tell you the secret about fried lobster tails. OMG. Oh, you got to watch my lobster tail video. Mm. Now, look. This bag here is $40. That's 2018 Costco's. And those are the size of the shrimp. Delicious. And I make them with a whole bunch of food. I make them with eggs. I make them with grits. <laughs> Shrimp on everything. Seafood on everything. Hot sauce. Everything. Look at that. Everybody goes crazy over this seafood rice. So the lady wanted me to make her the rice. I agreed to make her the rice. And I told her the ingredients to buy. She bought... Invitation crab meat. I said, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to have the same taste. She was like, I, I, I'm okay. I, I've tasted what the real seafood rice tastes like. But I'm making it for a party. And, you know, invitation is the way I want to go right now. I said, no problem. I'll make it the way you want it. I seasoned it so well, you really couldn't tell it was imitation crab. But she enjoyed it. And that's what the food looked like. Now, I tried to make this. This is another one of the meals I wanted to make that I got off of someone else's um, page, another cooking channel. I'm going to try to make that. I tried once or twice. <laughs> the twins, Kelly and Carly. <laughs> mm. That was good. Look at those shrimps and scallops. Fried golden brown. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I, I've learned that when you use a deep fryer, you can get a better coating on your food than you can when you fry your food in the pot with oil. You know, check it out. See if you can determine which ones are different. Mm, that was good, too. I have so many shrimp and grits. <laughs> Different ways I make the shrimps. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Grilled. <laughs> this is good, too. I'm not really big on eating the whole crab itself, but these, these um, rock crabs was pretty good. Those are lobster claws right there. 
Now, I tried this, and you may want to try it. My first time trying it, I wanted something different. I put mozzarella cheese on the inside of the lobster and baked it because I wanted to get that kind of Italian seed food taste. It came out so good. I wound up doing it again and again. Look at it. Doesn't that look Italian? The herbs and spices. It was so good. Mm. Put a little of that sauce on it. It be really good. And this one I'm going to be staring while I'm eating. And this is how I fried the salmon. I fry it this way so I can get a nice even coat on it because not, it's not really a fry. It's more of a saute. So I stand, you have to stand it up. You stand it up evenly so it can coat all the sides. And then I, I told you I love the cheese on the lobster tails. I made it again. It was just the tails. It was so good. And I made it with some pasta. It's another Saturday dinner, Friday dinner, I guess. Mainly I do this on the weekend because I'll be probably having company come over on the weekend. And uh, it's very well requested all the time. I just fry it differently or bake it differently. Take on my plate. I have to pile my plate up like that. Otherwise, I won't be able to eat any because it all will be gone. Mwah. I just wanted to grab one out the pot. And these are clams. I have some little neck cherry clams and some cherry stone clams. And look how big these, these are. Just one is going to cost you about 30 bucks. Two is going to run you an easy $55. Look at that. Mm -mm. Hear that thunder? Yikes. I don't even have the window open. Jeez. Yummy. And the sausages mean something. Find the sausage that you enjoy eating, that you would eat in a, a Frank roll or something. That way, your the taste of it would be amazing. I prefer only beef. But your preference is your preference. Look at that. Homemade. Muzzles. This is fried mixed combination. I believe I was making this for my girlfriend's birthday party. She had a couple of friends come over. Yeah, this is good. Put it on a platter. <laughs> I didn't have big bowls to put their food in. I was like, I'll just put it in a platter and you just put it on. This is a piece of platter. Just grab what you want. And this was really good. This is just some squid and oysters that I got from um, a local restaurant. That rice, I cannot duplicate that rice. That rice is from um, the people in Thailand or something. They cooked that rice. It was really good. My girlfriend happy at a party that I cooked. <laughs> Some water food. This probably was another party. This was another party. It's always lobster, king crab legs, shrimps, corn, potatoes, scallops, muzzles, clams. Oysters, <gasps> squid. Oh man, I'm such a seafood junkie. I know, I know. This is really good. 
This here was my first time trying the Bee Love sauce. The Bee Love sauce, if you follow the instructions, it is so good. And I contacted her and I was like, you know, I am have a little high blood pressure. She said to add less salt to it, add more um, broth to it. So adding the broth made it way better. And this is some fish and some baked fish and um, asparagus. And more seafood. Oysters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love oysters. I love them raw. I love them fried. I just love them. Oh, and this is the striped bass. This fish is so big. This is a roasting pan. This is an actual roasting pan for a turkey. Look how big those fish are. I had to turn them the long way. And those are the ingredients I put, I stuffed them with. Look at that. Mmm. More seafood. As you notice, the seafood always look different. Fried lobster tails. Learned that trick from another friend of mine. You know, to keep it straight. Stick a stick in it. That's it. Awesome. Look at that. Yummy. Yeah, you can tell who food that was. You can see the car keys. Mm, mm, mm. These are fresh chucked oysters. I chucked them myself. I was showing my son how to make, how to open them. And I put some of the sauce on them. They was delicious. And then I fried some. Some fish. Some more fish and french fries. Oh, you know I had to make this the next day for him. This was so good. Let's see, like I was telling you guys, if you buy two legs, look at the price. This is 2018, 30 bucks for two legs. Look at that. And I had bought two of those, <coughs> two of those crabs. The crabs was $38 for two. See? Just for two. $38. They're pretty big. And then I cooked again. And more food. More seafood. I like to make different toppings. I haven't found one that I really want to just keep, keep, keep using. Because I like different flavors. Depending on my mood. These lobster tails, I bought these from the store because I didn't feel like going all the way to Costco's. And they was like $5 each. I'm, and then they went up. I'm like, are you serious? I'm used to getting them for $5 each. Now I have to pay more? Now they're up to like $10 for one. Every time I catch a sale, I run. I run and go get a lot of them. Seeing more lobster. Fried scallops. Scallops here. And this is how I make the rice. Mm, look at that. That's my son's. He like red sauce. And he had me and this is what the rice was supposed to look like, but you know. She liked it and she wanted it that other way, but hey, it's all good. This is how I made it. These are jumbo tiger shrimp. And these are clams. And these are lobster tails and scallops. Mm. I never make that the same way. I mean, the toppings is always different. Oh, seafood, seafood. Oh, my goodness. This is broiled. I put all this in the oven. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. This time I fried the sausages instead of broil them. I fried them because they get they taste even better. You get more flavor. Mm -hmm. Dinner time. You can tell which nights are special night dinners. Dinner time. I don't like to go out to restaurants a lot. I'd rather cook at home. So you go buy the groceries and I'm going to cook. Teamwork. Look at all these pictures of food that I've made. This one here is showing you how big the, the crab legs are. They come in a box. They're bigger than the Apple Jacks box. I never knew the difference between regular corn and sweet corn. Some salad. This time I made it different. I put the avocado in there. You got to see the different things I add to the salad to make it different, to make each plate different and unique. Look at that. Mm. Now this one here is 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 boiled. I I steamed them. This is steamed. Some more steamed potatoes. And that's how it looks after I put the the little bit of flavor season is on top of it and toppings. See the difference? How I looked at here, you know, and then then you then you add your seasoning on to top of it because when you add your seasoning to the water, it boils out with the water. You add a little seasoning to the water and then you top it off with a little seasoning after you finish, or you just pour the butter sauce all over it, like I do, like I did here. <laughs> Now see, why can't we always go to the restaurant and get our food looking like this? Beautifully golden brown and done. Hello, done. Look at that. Mm. I had to make a lot of that. A lot. This is one of my favorites. With just the lobster tails, shrimp and the crab legs. And the shrimp and the corn. And it's almost look like the same stuff, but it tastes different every time. And then I started. I do eat other food, but I wasn't showcasing other food today. My grill. That's how I grill. I don't feel like putting up the big grill. And I go back to the store again to uh, check out the prices. Extremely high as usual. But it's okay. Like I said, it was okay because I buy by the box. Let's see what this video is. And this is what the shrimp look like. More seafood. More seafood. The lobsters. The ribs and beef ribs. The steak. Happy birthday. And if you think I made too much, uh, no. No, no. Damn. Don't y'all want some of this garlicky, buttered shrimp? Look how big they are. Wow. Look at that sauce. Look how nice and thick the sauce is. As you can tell, he was a very happy camper. Well, guys, I just wanted to make this video under 30 minutes, and it's at the, it's almost at my 30-minute mark. I just made a whole lot of food, you know. They're cooking a lot. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy eating. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy eating. <laughs> cooking and eating. I, I like mainly seafood. You know, I, I like beef. You know, I'll do a beef 
this video next time. But thank you guys for coming over and sharing my compilation of seafood. Okay? Compilation of seafood. On that note, see you later, my BK Riders. Thanks for coming over, my BK Riders.